Hello all, welcome back. Uh, in this session, we'll be taking a look at the installation of Visual Studio Code for Windows. So the very first step is you Google out uh, Visual Studio Code, VS Code for Windows, and uh, you go to the very first uh, link that you get. So click on this link, and uh, you can select the User Installer option here for x64. So we are going with the Windows installation here. So your software gets downloaded, save it to a folder, so once when the download is complete, you can go to the folder and then click on the icon to start the installation. So now let's click on the icon. So your installation process starts now. A few basic steps. First, we have to accept the agreement. Click on next and let it be the default folder. Click on next. Yeah, let's leave it to the default next now we'll create a desktop icon select the option and then uh, click on next install click on install so now the software starts installing so it takes a few minutes uh, for me it took me around five minutes or so so it depends on your system too so once when the installation is uh, finished uh, you can click on finish so the installation of visual studio code on your system is complete now there are a few steps we have to do we should create a folder so you create a folder so in this folder we are going to store all our code that we'll uh, create so i'll rename this folder as uh, code demo so all the html files php files whatever it is i create will be stored inside this folder and we need to create this folder so after creating this folder go to visual studio code you have to open this folder in visual studio code so you click on a uh, file and then you click on open folder now browse to the folder that you have created select that folder so that is the next step so here this is the folder i have created i select this folder inside this folder all our files are going to be stored it's going to ask us for some permissions so let's wait huh? okay so here we have to give this permission yes i trust the authors And now we'll add an HTML file uh, to our folder. So click on this icon to add a new file. I'm just going to add an HTML file. So I'll name it as uh, test.html. And I'll give an exclamation and tab. So this uh, will add some code stuff. This is auto generated. And uh, we'll now add a paragraph tag to this body, a very simple HTML page. Hello, this is my first uh, page. So we have created our first HTML page called test.html. Control S to save this page. And now to see the results, we should go to the folder that we have created. That's where this test.html will be stored. So this is the folder. Inside this folder, you can see test.html page. So we'll click on this and we'll see the results in the browser. So if I want to make more changes to this page on Visual Studio, so I can add another paragraph tag. So this is the change I'm making. So to view this change, what I should do is I should go to the browser and refresh it manually. So for any change I make to this uh, HTML page, I have to refresh the browser. So this is the process, but this is a tedious process. You know, every time to see the changes, you need to refresh. So there's an easy way to achieve this. We can install an extension called Live Server which will help us auto refresh the browser. So let's go to the extension link there, click on it and search for this extension live server. So you're going to install the very first extension you're going to get live server and click on install. So this will install this extension. Okay, it's installed now. So there's one more step after the installation is uh, complete uh, you should go to the uh, bottom of the page and then you should click on go live see go live you have to click on that so that your server starts running this is a very important step so once when you click on go live you will be able to see the port number like port 5500 now we are adding a more paragraph tags just to see whether these changes are auto refreshed in the browser 
So that is the use of live server. You see, whatever changes we have done is now seen in the browser without uh, refreshing the browser. So you can make more changes. Let's see whether it is getting auto picked up uh, by our live server. So here I have made some more changes and you see, damn, it's there. So no need to go in for manual, uh, manually refreshing your browsers when you have a live server. There is one more trick I want to tell you. Say if you want to add some tags, you can just type say image and then tab. So you get the tag generated for you. Say if you want to have an H5 tag, just H5 and then you press a tab. So you get the uh, tags generated for you. It's easy to code. It speeds up your coding. And we have, add more, we have added uh, more changes here. Let's see whether these changes uh, gets picked up by our live server. You just move to the browser. You'll see the changes are there. And that's it for now. We'll be using Visual Studio Code for all our programming exercises in the future.